cocaine. Does cocaine cause heart attack? So I'm breaking down the topic into two concepts, cocaine and heart attack. How would I search this in PubMed? So do I need to put an ad between cocaine and heart attack? By default, it should understand that these are two different concepts. Let's see if it does or not. I have to go into the advanced as always and to check out whether they were mapped to the right mesh. So definitely cocaine was mapped to the right mesh. And heart attack was mapped to the myocardial infarction. So do you see? Sometimes the keywords that are there are not mapped to the exact mesh itself. So heart attack is mapped to myocardial infarction. But again, PubMed takes into account the keywords given or put into its query and ors it with the keywords. This is right. The concepts were mapped to the right meshes with the AND Boolean operator between them. However, what about cocaine cracking, cocaine smoking, other relevant meshes that are there and I will be missing? So how to go about them? One way to go about them is going through the mesh databases. This time I cannot be putting all the concepts together as in the regular Google-like search in PubMed. I'll have to break down the topic into concept and search each concept alone. So I'll be searching cocaine the first time. Do you see? What was mapped for me the first time is only this mesh. Cocaine-related disorders was not. Crack cocaine was not. Cocaine smoking was not. And all of the rest were not. So how to go about it? I will select those related meshes, add them to the search builder. The default boolean to be adding between is an AND, so I have to change it into an OR and then add the search builder again. So now I have the first concept. To tackle the second concept, I can go either by search PubMed for this first concept, then come again to the mesh databases and type in heart attack Can you see when it's only one mesh that it's mapped to, it would take me to the mesh tree directly and the mesh details as well. So we can see that my card and function lies under different mesh trees, four different mesh trees. These are the keywords set by the author. These are the subheadings of this mesh. It's a disease. So if you remember nutrition disorders, they must have the same set of subheadings. If you want to focus, this is what we select. By default, in PubMed, the meshes are exploded. So if you don't want to explode them, you have to come here and click not explode. Since this is the mesh that I want and I do want to explode it, so I don't click on do not include mesh terms found below this term in mesh hierarchy, and I click add search builder. And then I click search PubMed. Where did the two searches go? I will go to the advanced either click add left click on number 22 and click and left click on number 20 and and or simply add from this add to builder and then I will search to get 317 results or in the added search builder I would type in hashtag 20 and hashtag 22. Ah, why is it 20 and 22 and not 20 and 21 like in Medline? Remember, it's a free database. 
so we cannot monitor. It's not custom to the subscriber of our institution. So take care of this and don't take it for granted and directly do 20 and 22 or 22. You have to come and consider the hash, the, the subset number. Then I click search. Either or way works. Again, if I am still in the mesh tree, mesh database from here. This is one way to look each concept alone and then combine the two different concepts together. However, since this is a simple search, I can do the following. Remember, I have to change this to OR. I will take these meshes that I find relevant and add them to the search builder here. Put them between brackets. And search the second concept here directly. Since this is easy. By default this changes again back to AND. And then click. The brackets are removed. So I have to do it again. Add to the search builder. AND. So see. AND my cardinal infarction. And then click search public. So instead of me breaking down the topic into concept and then searching each concept alone and then combining them. I can do that directly from here since it's an easy search and it gave me the same results. This is how we go about the mesh database from PubMed. And it's important for us to see the mesh tree, to see the subheadings, to see other meshes that are might be related to my concept.